And it happened after all these things that God tested Abraham. And he said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. And he said, take, pray, your son, your only one, whom you love, Isaac, and go forth to the land of Moriah and offer him up as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall say to you. And Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took his two lads with him and Isaac, his son, and he split wood for the offering and rose and went to the place that God had said to him. On the third day, Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place from afar. And Abraham said to his lads, sit you here with the donkey and let me take the lad and walk ahead and let us worship and return to you. And Abraham took the wood for the offering and put it on Isaac, his son, and he took in his hand the fire and the cleaver, and the two of them went together. And Isaac said to Abraham his father, Father, and he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Here is the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the offering? And Abraham said, God will see to the sheep for the offering, my son. And the two of them went together, and they came to the place that God had said to him. And Abraham built there an altar and laid out the wood and bound Isaac his son and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham reached out his hand and took the cleaver to slaughter his son. And the Lord's messenger called out to him from the heavens and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. And he said, do not reach out your hand against the lad and do nothing to him. For now I know that you fear God. And you have not held back your son, your only one, from me. And Abraham raised his eyes, and he saw, look, a ram which was caught in the thicket by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up as a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place Yahweh Yira, as is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord there is sight. And the Lord's messenger called out to Abraham once again from the heavens. And he said, by my own self, I swear, declares the Lord, that because you have done this thing and have not held back your son, your only one, I will greatly bless you and I will greatly multiply your seed as the stars in the heavens and as the sand on the shore of the sea. And your seed shall take hold of its enemy's gates and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through your seed because you have listened to my voice. Then Abraham returned to his lads, and they rose and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelled in Beersheba. God and Father of all the faithful, 
you promised your servant Abraham that he would become the father of many nations. And through this gift of faith, you increase your chosen people throughout the world. Form us anew by the death of your son, that we may joyfully accept the new life of grace given through him. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Abraham! Abraham! Here I am. <laughs>